So the phrase that um, I have going through my mind this morning is uh, relaxing as spontaneous reality. And this is such a beautiful and powerful approach to life. Just to allow yourself to relax as spontaneous reality for short moments repeated many times. The nature of reality is already completely spontaneous and completely beneficial. Your mind is already wide open and clear, like a clear sky. And so this is why just relaxing as that complete openness, as that perceptual openness, allowing everything to be exactly as it is, is so powerful and so confirming. Because that's just simply the way that things are already. All of the descriptions, what we could call data, are just the dynamic energy of this spontaneous reality. Each instant is completely unique and actually totally seamless and impossible to separate out from any other instant. So what we have in our experience, and when we look at our own experience, is this seamless expanse of experience, shining forth from and as this spontaneous reality, this open intelligence by which everything is known short moments of just complete relaxation allow you to recognize the actual nature of your mind the nature of descriptions or data and the nature of reality everything already completely relaxed so short moments of just allowing ourselves to recognize that simply by relaxing really allow us to realign ourselves with that nature of reality with the spontaneous nature of reality with the perceptual openness that is always the case, with the completely beneficial nature of that reality. <coughs> when I came to this training, and um, right from the very beginning, if you look at the logo, it, it, it says balance view for the benefit of all. And when I came to the training, the the benefit of all in those terms was actually the last thing that I was interested in. Um, I was really interested in the benefit of me. Um, I, I wanted to feel more comfortable with who I was. I wanted to know how to make good decisions. I wanted to understand the nature of reality. You know, I, I was interested in all of these things. Um, and what was really interesting was to see that with the support that was given, with this simple practice of short moments repeated many times, of just relaxing and allowing myself to be exactly as I am, allowing all of the data just to do whatever they're doing, that then very quickly I saw that, well, I I'm not any of these data, none of these descriptions that I've used to define myself, they just come and they go in this completely spontaneous, effortless way. And so I don't need to try and hold on to them to try and create an identity. I don't need to try and compartmentalize myself into a box of descriptions of, of any kind. And, and even when I try to do that, it's impossible to hold on to it. So by relaxing and allowing the descriptions just to flow on by, it became more and more obvious to me that I'm actually this, this open intelligence that includes all of these descriptions but is not limited or defined by any of them. And actually, I'm already completely wide open and at ease with everything when I allow it to be as it is. So, I, I'm actually fine. I'm actually fine. All of these concerns I had about all of these issues, all of these... <coughs> what did I read on a poster the other day? Emotional blockages, um, difficult memories from the past, all of these are simply data streams that appear spontaneously and self-release naturally, like, like the mist in the air just resolves effortlessly. And by relaxing and allowing that spontaneous nature of reality just to be as it is, then this sense of really deep ease and sense of being okay with who I am 
it became more and more my lived experience. And as I began to see, well, I'm actually fine. I can allow myself to feel everything. Nothing is a threat anymore. Everything is encompassed within this vast expanse of just complete openness. It's already encompassed within it. Nothing ever occurred anywhere other than within this expanse of open intelligence. And so, if I'm actually okay as I am, and I don't have to worry about all of these things that I've been focusing so much on, trying to work out, trying to analyze, trying to manipulate or to do something with, if I can just allow them to be as they are, then what opened up was this capacity to, to really be with other people. And one of the things that I'd thought was that there really was this opposition or dichotomy between being of benefit to myself and being of benefit to other people. I mean, I had had some interest in being of benefit to other people, but to be completely honest, I was so completely focused on myself and all of my stuff, my thoughts, my emotions, my experiences, my opinions, my judgment, my sensations, my emotions, that there really wasn't much room for anybody else. And when that obsessive self-focus just relaxed naturally, and the short moments are designed to be used as part of an algorithm, that we call the Four Mainstays. So the first mainstay is the practice of short moments. The second mainstay is the written trainings that we offer and the media on the website, which really just elicit and evoke this instinctive recognition. The third mainstay is the global community and to be around other people who are also living as open intelligence, living a lifestyle of benefit. Then it's, we recognize that that's possible for us too. Other people provide this incredible inspiration and example. And then the fourth mainstay is the trainer, somebody who is there to really support and to clarify the sometimes subtle um, emphasis on data streams as if they had an independent nature. And so these four <coughs> pillars of support really allowed me to become comfortable with all of these descriptions and to clarify the nature of all of them. And by utilizing this support, all of these ways that I'd divided up the world, and one of the most um, profound if you, and pervasive ways of dividing in the world is into me and you, or internal and external, or subject and object. And by simply allowing all of these descriptions to be recognized, equally as this dynamic energy of open intelligence, as this display of spontaneous reality, seeing that none of them have an independent nature, none of them actually define who I am or the nature of reality, all of them can be allowed to be exactly as they are, then everything is included. And all of these seeming opposites just resolve naturally. All there actually is in this moment is open intelligence shining forth its beneficial data. That beneficial data may be you, it may be me, it may be any other label. But its actual nature is the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And there is no extreme to be taken. We can allow all of these data just to self-release naturally, like a, a knot in a snake just undoes itself without any effort. But the support is so vital, because it can be very easy to take a phrase or a word or a concept that we hear in the training and then to subtly build a new belief system around that. What we would call reification. It means to make something concrete, to try and give something an independent nature. And so when we hear the word like effortless, for example, the recognition of open intelligence is completely effortless. It already is. Everything already is open intelligence. This is why all we need to do is relax completely. When we relax completely, that completely effortless nature of everything is just instinctively recognized. We're not trying to work at it to make it into something else. We're not trying to fix these different labels onto this completely spontaneous, dynamic display. We're allowing it to be as it is. 
But then when we take effortless and we try to make that into a practice, then things can seem to be confusing. Everything is included within open intelligence, including descriptions of effortless and making effort. What subsumes and trumps any of those descriptions is the beneficial nature of all experience. So there's no extreme to be taken. We can give incredible effort and work really hard at something in an absolutely relaxed, open-hearted way. The conventional description may be that there are We've worked 12 hours, we haven't slept for three days, we're exhausted physically, we feel pain in our body, but these are just more data streams. We can relax and allow those to be exactly as they are too. So effortlessness refers to the actual nature of reality. It's not some fixed position that we need to take up. It's really beautiful just to allow yourself to be immersed in whatever it is you enjoy and to really give yourself to that. And my experience has been that when I allow the data to be as they are, then that happens in an effortless way. You know, the things that you enjoy. When you're doing something you really enjoy, the, the, the time just passes so quickly. Because you're just there, you're just giving all of this creative intent into whatever it is you really love to do. And if what you really love to do is to support other people and to help other people, then that's incredible. And to have the support of knowing the nature of reality allows you to pour your, your love and your care into the support of other people, knowing that you are already supported with this, this context of the Four Mainstays, where you can take responsibility for your own data. You have this... Um, this stable platform of knowing exactly who you are, knowing the nature of reality. And then it is almost impossible that you won't be available to support other people. But there is a skillfulness that comes from really knowing what is going on. What is all of this? That instinctive recognition. Each of us recognizing the fundamental nature of reality. Having had this accurate this accurate introduction into the nature of reality so you can introduce yourself to open intelligence right now just just stop thinking what remains there is an alertness there is a capacity to know you you can't turn that intelligence off you, you can try try not to be aware right now There it is, that's open intelligence. So to acknowledge that, to salute that, to rely on that, brings about this incredible shift in reality. This incredible shift in understanding exactly who we are. Not needing to bind ourselves to any of these descriptions that we've just learned. We weren't born with any of these ideas about anything. So we redefine, we reevaluate all of these labels from this vantage of open intelligence. And then everything just opens out. We are able to be more and more comfortable with everything about everything that's going on, all of the descriptions about ourselves, all of this self-referencing. It, it just settles out and relaxes naturally. We don't need to hang on to these descriptions and build these huge dramas around them. There is just this spontaneous reality. All we need to do is just relax completely and allow that spontaneous reality, relax as that spontaneous reality. So t test that out today. I, I love testing it out. For me it's just this incredible adventure. You know, what, what's, what's going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna relax as spontaneous reality and see what happens. The, the magical wonder of life is just recognized exactly as it's always been. There's no longer this obsessive commentary or the focus on that. We just allow that to be exactly as it is too. And that opens out naturally. So everything opening out more and more effortlessly, more and more easily.
without needing to work at anything, understand anything. Beneficial potency, beneficial power, just beautiful terms. No need to try and analyze them or hold them in or work everything out. Relax as beneficial potency, relax as beneficial power, and then just see what shines forth from there. That's it. This is the suggestion that you're given here. This is what you can test out today. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, short moments of allowing the data to be exactly as they are. I'll give that a go and then come back and tell us about it and ask questions about it.